Hey, how you doing? It's Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey, and welcome to Tool Time Tuesday. Finally, we got our Zenbot CNC up and running. We're having a few software issues, but um, the machine works. I want to give a shout out to Charles Brazil, First Coast Auto Creations. If it wasn't for him, this thing wouldn't be working at all. Sean at Zenbot has been awesome, spent an uh, hour with me on the phone, getting everything dialed in. I got to call him back tomorrow. He's going to send me another file because uh, the machine's not homing properly but um it's not product issue it's software issue i'm really impressed with the fit and finish of the machine this is a basic economy model like um it's one of the least expensive full eight foot uh tables that can handle full eight by four full sheet um at this price point i didn't expect the machine to go together as well as it did we had some issues at the beginning i was very upset with sean and his company at the beginning but um, after I calmed down and got the machine together, I realized he's a small team, small st staff, trying to keep up, trying to work everything by himself. He promised me that he will be doing videos on YouTube to help with the assembly of the machine. Um, one thing I do have to say, he did answer my phone call every time I called, returned my call within eight hours, um, stayed on the phone with me as long as I needed him to. For the cost of the machine, I'm really impressed with the way everything goes together. The way everything lines up, we didn't have to bend or twist, like it goes together like a really high quality machine. I was something this big, anybody that builds vehicles all the time like we do knows that you're just gonna have fitment issues with turn stuff. Wasn't the case here. Everything's drilled and tapped. Most of the stuff is quarter twenties. Everything fit beautifully. The long pieces locked into each other. Uh, for example, if you can see right here, everything fit perfectly perfectly together the machine moves smoothly doesn't give us any issues Everything works as it should. We're gonna, later on week, we'll run a, a couple of test pieces. There's just, I don't wanna run the risk of breaking a bit or, or messing up uh, the tabletop. So I'm gonna wait until everything's completely zeroed out. I'm gonna do some test cuts manually. I'm not gonna set the machine to automatically cut, but um, the machine, the stand is solid. So as I'll pan out so you can see where we have it set up. We built this section of the wood shop just for the machine, so it's almost up against the wall. Uh, it's 10 feet by, I guess, six feet wide. We chose to go with the Hitachi motor. It's the one Charles recommended, so that's the one I used. Um, we've run, cut some test pieces, cut smooth, doesn't jam up. The um, standard laptop, uh, vacuum system we just had the electrician in here yesterday so we should have the vacuum up and running got the vacuum in the room next to it so I have the vacuum up and running by tomorrow or day after Thanksgiving uh, we're running mod 3 software and we're running V carve pro so can't tell you how I like it so far but I know I'm gonna love it um, just a few test cuts we've run and given no issues. Uh, the machine moves faster than I thought that it would. And the build quality of the machine is really, really high. I, I would definitely recommend it. As long as Sean can deliver what he promises, I think you'll definitely find value in the machine. Uh, Sean and his guys did a really good job. Like I'm super duper impressed at the tolerances, how everything goes together, um, how there's built-in adjustment for the belt tensions, the we had an issue where but charles run me warned me that i was gonna have that issue where one of the motor cables was gonna be too short so we ran into the same problem he did so i cut and extended the cable it was a 15 minute fix it was no big deal um other than that i got all the options you could possibly get for it so i got the vacuum so what the vacuum does is there's these ports in the table that actually help you hold the material down while you're working on it, uh, I gotta warn you though, the vacuum is really, really loud. So I hope you have it in a room by itself or it's gonna drive you crazy. Or Okay, I'm gonna show you how smoothly it cuts. 
So it's three quarter inch wood, obviously. Uh, you can see how well it cut through. No struggles, no hesitation, no hiccups. Um, obviously it makes a boatload of dust because we don't have a dust collector hooked up yet. But um, the vacuum's really loud. But uh, we got the vacuum option. We got the table option. We got the software. We purchased software. We purchased uh, the VCAR software and the Mach 3 software. Um, so the only thing that didn't come included with the table is you have to buy the router separately. He gives you a choice, I think, of three or four routers that work with the machine. And there's uh, the controller card, uh, the CNC motion controller. It was like 125 bucks on Amazon. That's what led the Zenbot control box, which you can see back there. So that's the Zenbot control box right there. It lets it communicate with the laptop, but it won't do it unless you have that uh, CNC controller I just showed you. So that was like 125 bucks on Amazon. The router, I think I paid 150, um, and everything else came included in Sean's package. He has all the pricing on the website. So, um, so far, recommendation, two thumbs up. For the money, I don't think you can buy a machine Definitely not a machine that does a full sheet. Um, he offers smaller machines, but um, for what we do, I think um, spending less than $10,000 on something that's gonna increase our productivity, can do a full sheet, can cut three quarter, I think is a no brainer for us. Um, there's financing available through his website. So I believe that makes a machine like $300 a month. So if you can't make your money back on a tool this powerful for $300 a month, you're doing something wrong. Um, just in the time it's going to save us on rough cutting. If I don't use it for anything else and I only use it to cut aluminum and acrylic, two things that I hate, 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 hate rough cutting. And then you have to, when you rough cut aluminum or when you rough cut acrylic, when you take it over to the router table after you just spent 30 minutes rough cutting it, then you got to sit there and take small passes, quarter inch at a time until you knock it down so you get a nice smooth finish. With the machine, you just set it slow. You tell it to do a few passes and you let it do its thing. There is no rough cutting because it's going to cut the exact diameter you need. And then you're slowly going to take off a 16th of an inch in each pass and go down, go down, go down, go down. So the, just the time you save in rough cutting, the material that's not wasted, and the fact that you don't have to stand there and do it yourself. I'm going to make my money back on the machine just on aluminum and acrylic. Now I'm going to obviously use it for more than that. Um, we're going to use it to make all our, once we take the time to program all our speaker rings, it takes time to do it the first time once it's programmed in you just load the material click print so we're going to scale down our router tables because we have currently have six router tables so with the cnc machine we're going to scale down to two or three so that's going to so the space that the cnc took up and scaling down to three router tables is going to make up for it um, we're going to build the router tables into our outfeed table saw in the next project and make this entire section an l for all the woodworking so hope I've given you enough information on the machine. Uh, you're welcome to email me, text me anytime uh, if you have any questions. Once again, thank you, Charles. Thank you, Sean. And I promise you next week, you will see the machine in action cutting. Uh, everybody have a great Thanksgiving. See you next week. Thank you.